Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to hide form elements in case you want to use them for conditional logic or other purposes. So let's jump over to my desktop right now. All right, this is our Job Form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form. Let's go into Create a Form, Start from Scratch, Classic Form, and let's drag in a few elements. So in this case, we'll drag in full name, email, and maybe some short text that we might need for something. This could be a question, all right? Let's just say that this is a question because we might use it for conditional logic. Now, there's two ways that we can hide this field. One is we right click on it. So if you right click on it, we have these options available. We can click on hide. Now we have this message that says, this field is hidden and will not be seen on this form. What does that mean? That the end user is not gonna be able to view it. So if I go into publish, open in a, new, in a new tab. So that means that someone opens it up. Well, we don't see that question element here. Now, let's close this. Let's go back into the builder. Again, we're going to right click on it and we're going to show it. Go into publish, open in a new tab. And now we're able to view this element because we unhid it. So let's go back into settings because I want to show you another method that you can hide the element. So if we click on the gear icon for properties, we're going to go into advanced section and we're going to see a option that says hide field. In this case, we're going to enable it. And again, it hides this field and we get the same message again to warn us that this element is hidden. So that way we can hide or show a field. This is really useful when you want to use it for conditional logic. Why? Because maybe you want to unhide this element in case they respond something else with conditional logic. Well, that is how you hide or show elements on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.